Thomas Alva Edison was born on the 11th of February 1847 in this house at Milan, Ohio. When he was 12, he got a job selling newspapers on a train, soon progressing to printing his own. As a young man, Edison worked as a telegraphist for Western Union in Boston. Whilst there, he patented his first invention, an electric boat recorder, but this was rejected by Congress in Washington because it counted votes too quickly. By 1876, he had set up what he called his invention factory at Menlo Park, about 25 miles from New York. This was also where he built his home. The laboratory at Menlo Park was filled with more scientific equipment than most universities could boast at that time. This uh, laboratory would house oh, probably about 12 to 15 men would be working here in this laboratory and working on various uh, experiments. In fact, this was the first research laboratory in the world. Research and inventing, that's what the whole intent of this uh, complex was. In 1877, Edison invented the world's first machine for recording sound, the phonograph. The apparatus used a needle connected to a diaphragm to record sound waves on a tin foil covered cylinder. Place this stylus and diaphragm, which are what make the recording, on the tin foil up against the uh, mandrel here, tighten it down. Now place this horn here. And what, one, what I want you to do is place your forehead here and your chin, or put as much of your head inside as you can and shout as loud as you can what you wish to say. Are you ready? Start. Hello! Louder. Okay. And again. Hello! Okay, we'll see if we can get that hello out. <laughs> that was it. I saw like a In early December 1877, Edison tested his invention in the laboratory with a little recitation. The uh, first words I spoke in the original phonograph. A uh, little piece of practical poetry. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Menlo Park continued to expand in order to cope with the many further experiments. He would add the various buildings as he needed them and as money would allow. So uh, the machine shop that you probably walked through getting here was actually built in 1878. This was the original machine shop, this room right here. So you could see why he needed to expand. Very small, could only accompany oh, probably one or two lathes and a, a couple of drill presses here. He would also work on his idea for the incandescent light bulb, and in particular the filament to his bulb. Now the furnaces that are back here are ovens. Those would be uh, used to test his filament. He had no idea what would work, if anything would work, and so literally thousands of different materials would be tested. Strands of human hair, uh, horse hair, blades of grass, each item was placed into a graphite box and then carefully placed into the ovens, heated until carbonized, and then brought upstairs and tested to see if it would work. Would it be a successful filament? Out of all the thousands of things that Edison tests, the first successful filament ends up being ordinary cotton thread. Cotton sewing thread, when it was carbonized, was the first successful filament. Edison was far from easy to work with, but his assistants adored him, despite the great demands he made on them. He was also a bit of a practical joker. He would give us a couple of gentle cranks. Well, he said that that sound was enough to raise the dead, and so that's why he called this his corpse reviver. So he had a uh, sense of humor. They used to hide this around the laboratory because paybacks. Uh, if Edison was caught taking his nap, he may hear the corpse reviver himself. A boarding house for Edison's unmarried employees, situated near the laboratory, 
was one of the first to be lit by electricity. The Sarah Jordan boarding house, we're looking back to 1879, especially when you look at the light bulbs and the lighting system that uh, we see here in the boarding house. This is how it appeared when Edison had this uh, wired uh, for his first public lighting demonstration of 1879 on New Year's Eve. And hundreds of people came from nearby towns and the uh, city of New York City to uh, see this event for the first time. Uh, the furnishings are from 1879, and uh, there would have been about eight to ten or so boarders who were Edison's workers, single workers, who stayed in the boarding house. In 1888, Edison invented an instrument which does for the eye what the phonograph does for the ear. He called it the kinetoscope. It was basically an animated peep show. The viewer looked through an opening and saw moving pictures. So-called kinetoscope parlors became popular with the public and over 1,000 machines were sold. The world's first film studio, the Black Mariah, was opened in 1892 at New Jersey. It rotated on a turntable so that the best light could be obtained through the glass roof. In this rare piece of film, Edison attempts to marry his two inventions of the phonograph and the kinetograph camera to produce talkies, but the project was unsuccessful. Many celebrities of the day were enticed to perform for the camera, including the graceful Spanish dancer Carmen Cita in her famous butterfly dance. The double perforated film used by Edison was about 35 millimeters wide, a format that is still used today. In this short film, we have looked at the invention of the incandescent light bulb, the phonograph, and the early development of motion picture devices. Edison had, however, more than 1,000 inventions to his credit, including the mimeograph and electric pen by the time of his death in 1931. On the day of his funeral, the torch of the Statue of Liberty was extinguished as a mark of respect to one of the greatest inventors who ever lived.